brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom. All right, um, this is like a short message. So me and my son was, I, I had my I had my son uh, listen to the, the Terrence Howard message and something clicked because Terrence Howard said, when I was in my mother's womb, I was six months old in my mother's womb. And he said, I said to myself, gotta remember, gotta remember, gotta remember. And then it clicked, it dawned on me. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, he's absolutely right about the math being off. Because if, let's say a child is carried for nine months, and let's say that child is born in March, all right? When that child is born, that child is nine months old, all right? That's just due to average nine months. That child is nine months old. And as soon as that child is born, the doctors say the child is a day old. When that's not true, because the child was a day old at the time of conception. You understand that? That child was a day old. You were a day old at the time of conception. Once that sperm infiltrated your mother's egg, you were literally a day old. All right? Not even a full fetus. You were a day old. And then as time progressed, you became two days old, three days old, four days old. Before you know it, you were already a month old. When you were born, you were born at nine months. Now let's say you were born in March, okay? April, May, June. In June, you were a year, you were one year in June. So what they have to do, and, 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 and these jokers, they did this because they didn't want to do the math. So what they had to do is go back nine months from the time of conception. And think about it, there's a lot, you got a lot of mothers out there who literally record the day when they know they got pregnant, because a lot of mothers, a lot of a lot of females know when they're pregnant. Alright? They can feel that that uh, uh, that burst of energy. When that sperm it's that egg, they can feel it. They know it. It's like, I know I'm pregnant. I know I know I am pregnant. Because they, they can feel it inside their body. All right? And you can't tell me they can't feel it because, they're, you know, your spirit is in tune to your body. There ain't no female who don't know that they're pregnant. They know they're pregnant. Some of them might want to hide it, but they know it. But like I said, there's a lot of females who record the day they know that they got pregnant. So, from the day you got pregnant until birth, that was nine months, all right? Let me get this right. That was nine months. Let's say, like you say, March, April, May, June. June, you were officially one year, all right? So, if you want to go backwards, um, that means that what your mom let me see um uh, let's see we do the do the math uh, let's say you was born in march february january december november october september august See, I get this right. Let me get this right. I, I got to get this right. Because I'm, I'm doing months backwards. I've never done months backwards before. But you, let's say you was born in March. Okay. February, January, December, November, October, September, which will be uh, September, August, J 
July, June. Which means that your mother would have conceived you in June. And you were born in March. And a year, and, and, and three months later, it will be June. So I, I had it right the first time. I had it right the first time. And three months later, it would be June. So actually, now your birth date, your birth date is in March. All right. Take note, your birth, your, the date that you were born will be March. That's your birth date. But your full year will be in June. So June of that next year, you will be two years old instead of that March being a year old. See what I'm saying? Because when your mother gave birth to you, you were nine months. You were nine months old when your mother, when your mother gave birth to you. See, the, the, the math just don't add up right. So let's just say someone is 18 years old. You mean they, they're 18 and nine months or 18 and three months, whatever? No. And this is why the math that we deal with is not, it's not right. It's flawed. Because when you were born, you were nine months old at the time of birth. You were in existence for nine whole months. You were in existence, but the doctors say, oh, he's a day old. What do you mean a day old? And it's just like, just like Terrence Howard said, he said one time zero equals zero. So it's like they zero out the entire time that you were in existence and say you were one day old because they don't understand the math that they created. They say that you were one day old. Like he said, one times zero is actually one because you got one unit of energy. And if you times it by zero, because multiplication is addition, division is subtraction. It's the same thing. One times zero is one. All right? Which means that... Um... They didn't, they, they, they didn't make sense in their math. You were a day old at the time of conception. So your mother conceived you, let's just say um, you were born in March 28th, all right? March 28th of 1985, all right? Let's just say that, which means that your mother conceived you on June the 28th. June the 28th, you were one day old. Your father's egg penetrated your mother's, uh, your father's sperm penetrated your mother's egg and your mother felt that, 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 that seismic boom inside of her body it was like, I'm pregnant. Just like that, I mean, it's some pregnant. Some women be like, "I'm pregnant. I know I'm pregnant." And y'all, the, the the mother and father had just had sex, and that sperm was like, "Yep, I got you. I got. It. I'm in. I'm in." So that was at that point in time, you were one day old, and you were born nine months later. But then that June, June of that year, June of 1985 you are officially a year old. You see what I'm saying? The time that they created, the math that they created, the calendars that they created, the numbers that they created, the way they want us to think that they created makes no sense whatsoever. Which means that we are older than what we think we are by a few months, by a few months. Let's see, I was born May 16th. My mom said I was almost a 10, a 10 month old baby, June, July, August. But if I was almost a 10 month old baby, that means that um, 
June, July, August, I would be, August, I would have been a year old, which means that somewhere in July, my mother and father conceived me. All right. So my mother and father conceived me somewhere in July. See what I'm saying? So the math that they do, that what they give us is incorrect. Makes a whole lot of sense, don't it? I mean, think about it. Makes a whole lot of freaking sense. So just something to, for y'all to think about. The math that we're given is, 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 is incorrect. That baby is born. You were born. March 28th, 1985. Exactly at nine months. April, May, June. June, you were a year old. Which means June of that next year, you were officially two years old. But like I said, these Saxons literally cancel out the entire time that you were being carried. And we fell under that lie. We literally fell under that lie. That, oh yeah, this baby is a day old. No, this baby is nine months old. You're nine months old. And then when you finally get three months later, you are one year old at three months. Three months later, you have a baby in December, January, February, March. That means the baby was conceived in March. And mother carried that baby all the way. And the baby was given, was born in December at nine months. March of that next year, that baby is one year old. Not three months old, one year old, because your mother had already carried you for nine months. Make sense? Let's just, I just want to, I'm just trying to make sense of it. You know, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because you're just going to cancel out a whole nine months. Say this baby's a day old. What do you mean this baby's a day? Even if a baby is born premature. And let's say the baby is born at six months. That baby is six months old. And in an additional six months, that baby will be a year old, which means that was the time of conception, that 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 year old. Which means let's just say a baby is born premature at um in June. Then you got July, August, September, October, November, December. That baby was conceived in December, but it was that that child, that he or she, that child was born early. It was born three months early, according to the time scale of a, mar a, a woman carrying a baby. The child was born three months ahead of time. <laughs> All right. For whatever reason. And that baby, by, the, by that baby being, it was born at six months old. That baby is six months old. Not, um, the time that they gave us. But just like I said, go back to March. You're born in March. April, May, June. June, you're a year old. You're not three months old. You're a whole year old. Something to think about. Make it make sense. 